hello this is Frida welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to do two ply I have been spinning these are one ply now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this and make two ply and to go from there so you need a empty bobbin like this and uh, I wish I had an empty extra bobbin but uh i don't know where it is i think i have another one but that's okay so i'm going to use a small one for this tutorial and you need this uh i believe it's lazy something something like this just to have it easy so you can you know pull it like this or you can put it on a straw or a basket and uh, use a different method that you have okay so let's get started Okay, so I'm going to set it up this time. I'm going to show you how to do this. On my last video, I totally messed up and I figured it out after I was spinning. But it took me a while because I haven't been spinning for years. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, that happens. We're all human beings, right? So this is how we set it up. Like this. And I used a small bobbin because I don't have an empty... Uh, bobbin big bobbin so before I click it I'm going to grab these uh, belt threads that are on the like they're using like a belt and I'm going to get take it over slide it like this and then what you do is you click it at the other end and it, you will hear the click sound one moment I can't see it here we go see you need to hear that click sound for you for it to spin it's great exercise I can tell you that for sure <laughs> okay so uh I'm going to put oh look what I did this is supposed to be at the other side so I can put the the thread the yarn the the belt on that one so I'm just gonna change it okay this is supposed to be on here for me to put the thread like this so it, it will turn while I'm spinning it happens okay and I'm gonna grab the other one and I don't want to twist or anything. Let's see. If we twist it, it's not good. I think I twisted it. Yeah, it's tangled. So just be cautious before you put it together. Just remove this and I will put that later on. Because I'm taping, right? <laughs> okay, so I put this on. So this is supposed to be here so I can put the thread. But before I do that, I want to fix the belt. So I'm using two. It came like this. Okay. And what I do is I go like this. And again, I have to click that. Uh, checking here here okay so this one this one one goes on that one and the other one goes on that one and what I do is takes the time to set up. Okay, great. It did click, and I don't know why. Okay, let me try it one more time. First I put it to this one, and then I put it onto the wheel. Other than that, it's sometimes tough to set it up. Okay, 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thread here. I need that thread yarn. So this is my waist yarn. So what I'm going to do is these are my waist yarn from my and then I'm going to tie this end just like this and I'm going to pull it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pedal before I pedal forgot to so I'm going to put the the yarn on the first one because it's going to be closest to me and I forgot my thingy my thingy is upstairs yeah I moved the spinning wheel downstairs because it's easy to tape okay here we go okay so I am going to pedal like this spin so it's twisting right that's what I'm aiming for so I'm gonna wait it to twist until it uh, pulls still turning 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 okay but I forgot I need to do this not clockwise because when you're applying when you're doing one ply you do clockwise you turn it right so when you do two ply we're going to do the opposite okay let me just do that so I'm going to do it opposite so this is going to untie the spin is going the other side so it's going to be going this way turning this way towards the left not the right I notice with the big I notice with the bigger bobbin it was hard to uh, pedal like spin but with the small it goes nice and smooth okay it's it's pulling okay let me just look because I didn't tie this that's why okay now it's uh it's pulling okay so what i'm going to do is okay, let me see if i can get this closer for you guys to see okay so i need this this spot here can you see that's what i need okay so uh my bobbins are right down there so i'm gonna grab them two ends just like this okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide these right here and I'm gonna let it go okay so I'm gonna what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold it see how fluffy this end is because that's the end of the of the yarn I hope it's focusing in good okay so I'm going to again turn one two three four five six I guess and then I'm gonna let it go I don't want it that twist okay and then I'm gonna go one I'm gonna turn oops it break it broke because I just be cautious not to let the other one go because I let the other one go and it broke so that will happen okay, we don't want that to happen so I'm gonna fix this and I'll be right back yeah see because I'm doing the opposite and uh, it broke 
Okay, so I'll just felt this and I'll be right back. Okay, I said I was going to felt it, but never mind. I can add that to my, when I'm spinning yarn, right? So I'm going to grab it from here again. Okay. Just like this. And I'm going to repeat this. She's turning one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Just be sure to put it on this. <laughs> there. Can you see? Just trying to uh, for some reason it's not Okay, I'm trying not to uh, twist it too much, then it will curl up right. So uh, that's what I'm aiming for, not to twist it that much. So I'm letting it go just like this. And I am pedaling, spinning. Okay, this, uh, this is perfect. This is perfect, can you see? And I'm gonna be washing this so when I wash it, the the angora will come out easily and they are it's very strong so some people will think oh that's not good enough but it is strong like I'm pulling this so hard and it, it is strong so nothing will happen and then I let it go to the bobbin and I continue one two three four five Six, and then I check it's a little bit curling that's okay so I let it go just a little bit and then I feed it to the bob and see and then I continue doing the same thing I hold like this and I let it go and I count one two three four five six and I check just a little bit so that's okay and then I let it go for a little and then I feed it to the bottom just like this and then what I do is see this is already full so I'm gonna move it three so I'm going to move it towards here so I can continue filling and I continue I go one two, three, four, five, six, and I let it go, and I feed it. It's really fun. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, you don't have to count see when you see the twist what you do is you just let it go and then the twist will be gone see perfect see the two ply because it's a chunky yarn I'm gonna move it again three so on the third from the beginning Continue. Three, four, five, six. See, it's not curly. So 
So I'm going to continue until the bobbin is full. And what I'll do is I'll come back and I will show you how to skein it. And then I will show you how to wash it. And I will hang it to dry. After it's hanged to dry, I'm going to start the top down cardigan down a large size and I will come and do the tutorial with you guys so stay tuned so I will come back to skein it and then what I'll do is I'll wash the skein with you and show you how it looks like okay I'll be right back okay I just wanted to point out when you're coming to the edge just be cautious because then it feels right and we don't want the yarn to be on here so what i do is i automatically move it to number two so it won't go over the bobbin yeah unfortunately it's a small bobbin and uh, i want to make as much as yarn as i can but sometimes it's difficult right Okay, so just be cautious when you're doing the end in the middle and I'm going to try to fill as much as I can and I'll be right back what I was trying to say is my uh, camera got cut off when you're plying you will notice that it will not pick the yarn towards the bobbin until it's totally um, uh, two plied that's another way you can understand. Let me just show it to you. Oops. Okay, so I'm holding the yarn. And when I'm turning it, see when you turn it, you will let it go and it, it will pick. See, it will pull. Okay, and then I let it go until I will let it go so when I'm turning the wheel it will not pick until it's plied again that's what I'm trying to say that's another way you will understand it's too plied see how it looks it's just fantastic I just love it and again this is very strong and we are aiming for these fluffs right as you can see we can't see any hair but when I wash it and I will brush it before I start knitting it will become fluffy and these will come out that's what we were aiming for even I did the carding and I did the fluffy uh, things that I tried to do my best and this is how it looks like see and when you knit it up it will not be as fluffy as we need but we need to keep on washing and brushing washing and brushing and it will become fluffy fuzzy halo that's what we're looking we're aiming for okay these uh these hairs will come out okay i'll be right back keep on plying okay so i have a spin as you can see it's floating from the bobbin I tried to empty one of the bobbin I still have more on the other bobbin so uh, there's more one ply here and I emptied just one of them and uh, this is over the board <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the nitty knotty this is called the nitty knotty just to show you and it's a one yard and then after skeining it i'm going to be washing the yarn so i'm going to start it from here just to show you and i'm going to hold this i'm not going to tie it or anything because i don't want any knots but what i'll do is i'll go like this and then i will come here and then i will come here and then i will come here it's like crisscrossing all the way just like this holding that tight and I'm going to be holding because I think that's secure and then I'm going to be repeating it just like this and 
think someone is stuck in the snow. <laughs> uh, people don't change their tires and uh, okay. Forgot to remove it from here. Okay, let me just remove this from here and then we'll go from there. I'll be right back. So I am continuing. There's lots of yarn here actually. Doesn't look much at the beginning. So I will weigh this and we'll see how much we have in here. But uh, other than that, you can see how it's becoming fuzzy already. lot of steps to create hands to hand spun yarn and to have it perfect this is how you do it you card it you spin it you two ply it you wash it you skein it you wash it <laughs> and then you start knitting with it one at a time and I will see how much uh, yard I have here I can count it by counting what I do is I count these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 22, 23, that's how you count, and 20, well, less than 20, well, 23 exactly. Okay, so I'm going to tie from here, from here, from the four, four corners that we have with a wasted yarn, and my thing is twisting. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have these scrap yarns. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it like this to secure it. So when I wash it, it won't come out right. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay, so tie as hard as you can, just like this. So one, two, and then I have this uh, thingy here that I okay. These are my waste yarn, my leftover yarn. Then I just tie them individually, just like this four corners and I'll be right back okay so I'm just gonna remove this from the nitty naughty the skein or the skein whichever you call it that we make okay just like this see I'm gonna go and wash this before I wash this I am going to weigh and see how much yarn I have See, isn't this perfect? Angora rabbit yarn. Ta da! This is how you make Angora rabbit yarn. The end result is fantastic. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to weigh it and see how much it's going to weigh. <laughs> Almost 100 gram. See? Oh wow, this yarn is, I think, $200. When you search it up, that's how much they cost. So I'm gonna make, I don't know how many times, I'm gonna make the same yarn uh, as much as I need to knit a card again. It's just gorgeous, you can see the halo. Okay, let's go and wash it now. Okay, I'm going to be using this 
these are great for wool, for wool items and it tells here 15 minutes soak it hand wash soak item for 15 minutes okay so I'm gonna use just a little bit of this because there's lots of uh, soap here it's soak modern care for fine fibers okay okay so I just added some uh, warm water and I'm gonna add just a little bit of soap not too much okay just put it here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add this to the water okay and then I'm going to uh, add the skein in here just like this soak it for 15 minutes and I will come back because uh, this is specially made soap right okay. can you see the water how it changed color so it was dirty I guess because of the uh, rabbits right but uh, yeah, that's gone. Just let it sit there and I will take the time and come back and rinse it with water. Okay, it's been uh, 10 minutes. So uh, as you can see, the water is not that clean compared to when I started, right? Yeah. So I'm going to just rinse it. Turn it on and rinse it. And then I am going to hang it to dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so I rinsed it and this is how it looks like. So I'm going to shake this and then I am going to hang it. Just find the right spot to hold it from, just like this. And you notice not much is shedding, see? And it's strong. Okay, so let's go to the laundry room. Okay, I'm in the laundry room. This is how where I hang my yarn in the winter. In the summer, I dry it outdoors, but unfortunately, it's winter here. It's like minus, I don't know, 20 outside. So, what I do is, I put my yarn like this, and I hang it, hang it. And what I do is, I need to put weight on the other end. Okay, you're going to ask me why are you doing that, because I want the yarn to be straight nice and straight just like this can you see just like this okay this is bulky this is chunky I believe okay so I'm gonna put weight and to put weight I'm just checking I can hang something just need to find something to hang so it will give a little bit of weight not that heavy I don't want to hang something heavy right Okay, let me see if I can shrink this so you guys can see. It's really hard to show. Okay, and this is how it's uh, done so far. Okay, so I will come back and I will do a tutorial on how to start the top down. And then we'll go from there. As soon as it's dried, uh... I would say tomorrow maybe we'll see if it's dried and then we will start the card again with this yarn and I still need to to ply the other and then uh, apply more yarn okay here we go this is how I hang them <laughs> and then it gives that nice straight See? It won't curl up. That's what I'm trying to say. It won't twist up. Okay. 
this is what I did just to give you an idea so uh, I put my gained fabric softener container so it's going to pull it straight down it's going to give that weight and the yarn's going to be straight nothing to curl up see I don't want to get those curly it's already nice and straight but just to be cautious right yeah so this is the end result so far I'm back again downstairs just to show you my spinning wheel hi <laughs> hello <laughs> I just wanted to say goodbye and I hope you like this tutorial it's been a long tutorial for me <laughs> to spin to to ply the yarn to two ply the yarn to wash the yarn to hang it and so on so i hope you like this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends happy knitting happy crocheting happy spinning and don't forget that hit uh, to hit that notification button so every time i post a video you will be notified uh to for my new upcoming videos Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.